Speaker, House of Representatives, the Chief Justice of the Federation, Secretary to the Government of Federation, the Honorable Ministers, Chief of Staff, the Doyen of the Diplomatic Court, Head of Service, Service Chiefs, National Chairman, Nigerian Legion, Senior Government Officials here present, ladies and gentlemen, it is with a great sense of pride and honor that I welcome you to the formal launching of the emblem and a P fund for 2024 Armed Forces Remember Remembrance Day. The Armed Forces Remembrance Day of bodily and emotional injuries and logistic challenges, men and women of the armed forces of Nigeria remain committed to the daunting yet vital task of preserving security in our country. It is therefore all on us as a people to honor the memory of the valiant officers men and women who had paid the supreme sacrifice and to provide a decent and humane standard of care for all who have served our dear nation. The 15th day of January is symbolic because it marks the end of the Nigerian Civil War. The occasion gives us cause for reflection and reminds us of the price that has been paid for the continued unity of this country. As the beneficiary of that sacrifice, we have an obligation to guard that unity jealously and sincerely. Due to the methodical approach of our ongoing military campaign to the disseminate the subversive elements involved in the elementary and criminal activities in our society. Normalcy is gradually returning to, returning to the worst affected part of our country. With the gallantry and sacrifices exhibited by men and women of our armed forces in the campaign against insurgents. I am confident we shall continue to battle and decisively defeat all the security challenges. I wish to assure Nigerians that my administration will continue to reposition and strengthen all Nigerian security agencies. It's a commitment that we must take seriously. Our foremost objective is to provide a conducive environment free from threats and criminalities to enable all who reside within our borders to thrive and live in peace. For this reason, we owe a debt of gratitude to our gallant troops who have risen to the challenge of securing this great nation. In appreciation of the sacrifices of the men and women of our armed forces, and to underscore this government's commitment to their welfare, 
I have approved the sum of 18 billion Naira for the payment of the group life assurance benefits. <laughs> Benefit and other entitlements to the families of service members who lost their lives in line of duty. I also call on businesses to key into the patriotic spirit and support our services, our service personnel, whether in form of preferential treatment, discounts, or rebates on goods and services. I am pleased to note that Defense Earth Maintenance Limited, DHMA, is living up to the expectation in providing health care services to our veterans. But we will do more. Equally important is the expansion of their services through the establishment of zona and state offices and regular sanitization programs. As a government, we will continue to prioritize the provision of quality health care, health care services to our esteemed veterans and citizens at large. I must also confirm the Nigerian Legion, under the coordination and supervision of Ministry of Defense, it continues to be a rallying point for veterans to cater for the welfare of their any members. I pledge to continue to support all these schemes. I enjoy the leadership of Nigerian Legion to continue in this spirit and as its grand patron, I wish to pledge my full support and that of all the federal government. My heartfelt appreciation goes to the state governors, patrons in their respective states, for the support they give to the Nigerian Legion. I urge them not to relent but improve on their efforts. I encourage government agencies at the federal and state levels to continue to patronize the services of Nigerian Legion. Corps of Commissioners in provision of security and other administrative services. The potential of our ex servicemen remains enormous and can indeed be tapped for national development. The emblem that I shall launch shortly remains a symbol of remembrance and a beacon of hope for a peaceful future in this country. It is also our humble way of appreciating the veterans and the families of their fallen colleagues. I therefore wish to call on all Nigerians and non-Nigerians residing in the country, irrespective of their political affiliation or religious belief, to adorn the emblem with pride and identify with those who lay down their lives for the peace and security of our dear country. I also encourage all to donate generously in support of our veterans and dependents of fallen heroes, and to encourage us, all of us, to donate generously. On this note, my esteemed veteran, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to launch the 2024 Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration emblem and a P4. Thank you. May God bless our country. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless you all and continue to abide the faith of unity. Thank you very much.